My name is Tawny Giles, and I'm from the Southern Strut in Columbia, South Carolina. I'm Nancy Giles, and I'm the owner and artistic director of the Southern Strut Dance Studio. We went to the Industry Dance Awards in Hollywood, and we were just smiling all weekend, enjoying every second of it, and enjoying the whole Hollywood vibe. That was very fun, too. I immediately felt a warmth. I felt a connection with people in the industry that I have known for 35 years or more, people that I have admired and respected. I think my favorite part of the Industry Awards was the show, getting to see all the different um, acts that performed and all the different celebrities that were there. I was really impressed at how the Industry Awards were run. Also being able to sit amongst a lot of our peers from around this area that were also nominated. I enjoyed dressing up, walking down the red carpet, um, being interviewed, all the fun things that made us feel like celebrities. It was really cool. I came home and said I will make every effort possible to go from now on whether I'm a nominee or not, it was that great of an event that I want to be a part of. The celebrity I was most excited to see was Paul Abdul. Um, I think as a child, she was one of my biggest inspirations. So to be able to see her in person and hear what she had to say to all of us as dance teachers and um, students was really inspiring and I was a little bit starstruck to be honest. For me, Joe Tremaine was one of the first people that I ever took my children to to compete and to dance at his convention 35 years ago. And seeing him really touched my heart. There's a soft spot there. The other person that really touched my soul was Regold. And there was a lot of Hollywood stars there, and I loved being sh rubbing shoulders with them. But Regold's speech and reminding us how important it is to keep that feeling that we have when we're dancing. Well, we were nominated or selected as the best, having the best jazz routine this season. The winner of the Star Award for Best Jazz Performance is Jim Roll, please. Okay, higher ground, the Southern Strut. Great job, y'all. The trophy that we won is next door, where the main um, traffic of people come through, where the main secretary office manager is, and it's up on the desk where everybody can see it. But what really shocked me was so many people knew about it before I brought it home because there was such support and interest in the event that they were watching it um, on the live stream. The actual event being that it was um, based around dancers surviving cancer was very touching to me also and very much a privilege to be a part of that and to know that we have power to make changes. And um, I thought it was a lot of talent gathered together in one room with a purpose um, much greater than winning a dance award, but pulling our resources together and making a difference. And it was really special to be a part of that. And we all need to take an interest, whether we have somebody in our home right now, or whether it's just somebody we know down the street. I think it's all of our responsibilities to um, take a stand and do what we can, especially in the dance community, because we, we can reach out. We have the ability to reach out heart, soul, and mind, and sorry to get emotional, <laughs> but we do, and I think it's our responsibility to use the talent and the ability that we have to reach out and help any way we can. To see all these people that we revere and know in the business who've experienced it or, um, you know, have had experience with it, whatever, to hear them humbly talk about it and to see that we really are just humans. You know, we get caught up in the spotlight of, of what we do because our, our jobs are very um, high profile, if you would. But to see all of them together in one room with, with a different purpose and a different cause was very endearing and very touching. I think it's amazing that the dance community has come together to support the fight against cancer. That was what was so great about the event. You know, the winning was awesome. And we're very proud and humbled and honored to have received that. It was all very special. But I think what made it so special was the real purpose behind it, the real drive, because that's really what people are gonna remember 15, 20 years from now, not so much the trophy.